I'm very humbled to be receiving this award tonight. Um, I want to thank many people for this. Becky and Joe um, for the nomination and tolerating all of my visits with service dogs and service members to the Jefferson City campus. Oh, all of my coworkers and friends at Columbia College. Sean, my husband who tolerates all the volunteering, usually which involves putting him to work too. Um, my son Trent, who is currently attending Columbia College and having the same wonderful experience that we have, and he's a member of the track team. My youngest son, Cale, who, get, who tags along to all the events and has a love for our veterans and service dogs just like his mom. I also want to thank my wonderful friends, Virgil, Melanie, Dorothy, and everyone else. Lynn, I'm honored to be here with you. It's hard following you this evening. <laughs> Um, and my mother, whom without her love and support, I could not do what I do today. Two years ago, um, I experienced the devastating loss of my father, and I became even more involved after that. My parents had raised me to live my life in service to others, and my mother and father are my two biggest supporters, and I could not do a lot of what I do today. Um, Columbia College has been a very strong foundation in my life, from my professors to co-workers to the members of the alumni board to being on the alumni board. Um, I was just telling my mom on the way here tonight the songs that Lynn and everybody used to sing about the Stevens College rival. My mother was a Stevens graduate, <laughs> so I have to rub that in um, <laughs> because I'm from the good school. No. <laughs> Um, being a part of a group with so much history um, made my affinity to Columbia College even greater. So Dr. Lyman, Dr. Langford, Dr. Carrier um, provided me with my foundation in criminal justice, and they have always been excellent mentors. mentors. Um, but ultimately, service members truly hold a special place in my heart. My grandfather is a World War II Army Air Corps veteran. We have other family members who have served, um, friends and now friends' children who are serving as well. Working with service members from pre-deployment to post-deployment, um, you see the families working together, but you also know the sacrifices they're making as well. When they return with disabilities related to their service, it's our responsibility to serve them. The past year, the day, this past year, the day before Thanksgiving, we lost a Marine veteran to suicide who is a friend of ours. On average, 22 veterans a day take their own lives. The Missouri Patriot Pause is a wonderful organization. Um, we have alumni and students who have received their service dogs from this organization as well. And it makes it a win-win. The service dogs are actually acquired through the Puppies for Parole program through the Missouri Department of Corrections, or they're attained from a shelter after a pre-screening. So the service member is getting a tremendous support and a dog is also getting a tremendous support. So it is an amazing program um, whom I'm proud to be on the board of directors with as well as doing the public relations and fundraising for them and then being involved in honor flight activities and other veterans activities is important to me as well and my family. Um, this past year, I've come to know a very special dog, Bandit, the therapy dog, and his owner, Kelly, who is over the USO of Fort Leonard Wood. He is a rescued Great Dane who has endured multiple surgeries for his issues related to his abuse. Bandit was the first dog to oversee the laying of the wreath at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and he was recently recognized in the National Geographic book, Loyal, for his service. So, in the wise words of Bandit the Therapy Dog, remember it only takes a second to make the difference in someone's life. Choose to be the difference. Thank you.